how's it going everyone today we're gonna be jumping into the newest ninja road ninja road 34 it's also the first ninja road of 2020 so i'm looking forward to jumping on into this because new ninja roads are always either hit or miss because it can either be very easy or very challenging and don't get me wrong i like a challenge just as much as the next person but i do want a kind of easy one to just breeze through so that's exactly what we're going to be doing today so let's go ahead and take a look at the teams i do know a little bit about this ninja road and that's just because i did look into it a little bit just to make sure i don't get caught off guard but i haven't done it yet so it's still going to be new for me i just know that the last map is a heart type so with that said that's going to influence the team that i take so this is a team i usually take all the time it's got plenty of aoe damage in the form of madara madara and pain and then i have heals for days as well so you know obito and naruto right there you gotta have that heart combination there so that's good good team to go ahead and just take it's what i usually take and then over here is the team i'll be having for the last map because i know he's going to be or she is going to be a heart type but with that said as well the type can probably switch so i'm going to go ahead and bring some other units as well and i'm going to boost them up with the one tail i'm not going to 150 boost them but i will boost them just a little bit so this is the only teams that we should be needing for our first run on the ninja road better safe than sorry so let's go ahead as you can see i have not done it yet i have not completed it at all i just got on i saw a little bit of it on youtube and i was like okay so i can be prepared let's go ahead and jump into the ninja road all right first map here we go so oh, okay naruto's we got naruto's out here a uh, bunch of different versions of naruto actually what i think i uh i don't know if i should use yeah this team will work all right i'm gonna go ahead and install up and boost on the first map then go ahead and use my boy sasuke here i didn't actually use this sasuke on the last ninja road because i didn't feel like playing it again it was around for so long i got burnt out on it pretty easily but this time around i can go ahead and use my boy ah, i mean i don't want to waste all that chakra i don't think we need to let's see how strong they are i'll just go ahead and attack these ones this is like my sasuke team to be honest i've got ems sasuke there as well so that's pretty good also yeah i didn't want to use amaterasu because i knew they'd probably move over there so okay we can go ahead and do this though and go ahead and build up some more chakra with ultra combos as well but all right this ninja road it shouldn't be too bad from what i've seen the last map seems easier than the last one it's pretty similar that was really like the biggest part i looked into is because that's where it's either a hit or miss so okay what i'm gonna go ahead and do i'm not gonna boost up everybody obviously i'm just gonna boost up the first row sasuke and probably my ems sasuke uh, my EMS Sasuke does not have the body damage boost, so that is a little bit of a rip, but with that said, I think still boosting him would be good, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, let's wait one more turn. Yeah, but this first map's not too bad, just Naruto's, Naruto's, and then the rest of it, we're just going to be going straight through it. So, again, I don't know what to expect. I did not know this, but yeah, in the notice, I actually saw it this time because I was checking to see what update that we had after that long maintenance. And I didn't know, but they actually tell you some things about the Ninja Road. So, I know that there are pains on this. So, with that said, hey, I'm looking forward. Let's run into the pain. I have my pain. He's almost max dupe. All right, there we go. So, they're only going to be at like a 50% boost, but it's not that big of a deal. I just wanted to give him a little bit of a boost. Uh, I didn't give it to EMS Sasuke. I said I was going to, but I, I actually want to change my mind. I want to go ahead and use that Sasuke because I know that the heart damage will still be helpful. So, let's go ahead and do that. EMS Sasuke doesn't really need a boost because he's so amazing as it is. So, yeah, I'm just going to do it that way. All right, let's see here. Uh, Rochimaru. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and attack this man. Okay, so Orochimaru is no big deal um, I can go ahead and get a little bit of chakra real quick just because I'm kind of a little bit out of it So let's go ahead and do this with the heels man This is like my my go-to team because look at the heels. I got Madara there and then I have Sasuke and Obito So it's very helpful and then if I pull out my boy Naruto as well Then that's even more heals so it's just insane amount of heals and that's why I love this team. And Obito, once he starts using his jutsu, it's just, you can't be touched. This team has bailed me out of a lot of trouble. Okay, we got, uh, I'm not gonna lie, I forgot one of their names. Uh, I know one of them is Kotetsu. These are the two guys from Naruto, that's what everybody just calls them. Alright, so let's go ahead and take out him first, and then. I know we got, I think this is, uh, the, um, not the emergency unit. We got versions of these units. One was an emergency unit, one was, a shop reward but i'm gonna just go ahead and smack them okay so this ninja is not bad so far the first three maps of the other one was harder i feel like because you had all the yuga and everything all right so let's see here what i'm gonna go ahead and do i'm gonna use my boy pain i think this should kill let's see how much health does the qb have okay not too much if 81k does it then that's not a lot final valley naruto even obito with that 3-6 chakra could go ahead and take care of it so ooh, okay boost of health okay i really hope that we get chakra back later because i don't like i miss how back in the day after every boss you got chakra back restores 5,000 health okay 
So there's that. Uh, we do have moderate to start it off. Hopefully I'll get some chakra back soon though because I don't know how many uh, chakra resets I'm gonna get here. Yeah, I just had to open my mouth. No chakra resets. All right, come on, Skyline Meteor. Let's see this. Uh, ooh, okay, so. Oh, no, they can't get immobilized. Okay, I mean, I think it said that. I just wasn't paying attention. Uh, let's go ahead and use my boy Sasuke just because Final Valley Sasuke is a god. This should kill off Kakashi. I would imagine. Oh, no, he's not dead. Okay, well, let's see what happens now. My boy Pain can ignore that, though, so that's good. I guess that the... Oh, he switched my typing to skill. I was going to say, I guess that the uh, AI is not that smart for this map, then. And we got to check a reset with Madara. All right, there we go. Uh, is that going to kill? That did kill. Okay, and we have heals. I like to move on quick once you get, like, a, a, a boost like that, because then you can carry it on to other maps. All right, we got my boy Gamabunta. I think it's been a while since I've seen Gamabunta here. If I would have had Obito or Pain on the field still, I could have went ahead and probably just did this. Okay, he doesn't have that much health, though. That's not bad. Uh, do I want to go ahead and use Obito's Jutsu? Yeah, you might as well. When it comes to Obito's Jutsu, you might as well just use it because he gets three chakra back from his ult. So it's like you might as well instead of just using a first Jutsu. There we go. Okay, so if I had another heart unit on the field, I would have just one-shotted Gamabunta, essentially. <laughs> But, okay, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, here we go. This is where it's gonna start getting tough. Map 7 and 9 are usually the tough. And so, like I said up there, you do get all your chakra back when it comes to this map, so that's good. So, you can go ahead and use everything on Gamabunta that you want. Uh, I think it would be best here to go ahead and just use Pain. Chakra reset on Pain. Okay, I never get chakra resets on my boy Pain. My man's almost maxed out, but he only has a 15% chance. That's why they made him so low. Okay, let's go ahead and let's just spread out. Let's spread out a little bit. That's crazy. A chakra reset on pain, though. That actually got me a little hyped, okay? I never see that because that man never gets a chakra reset. Uh, we still have the boost from earlier, so I have all the heals in the world, but I don't think it would be a bad thing. No, nah, actually, let's... Uh, mm. Nah, I feel like it would be best to just go ahead and use Obito because my Sasuke doesn't have the dupes, so he's not going to take out Dator. And uh, Sasuke is already kind of weak as well, so I can come on in with Modern and that should be enough. I think so, yeah. I think I want to save Pains. I, I don't want to risk getting a chakra reset again. Okay, we got one with Madara, though. I still can't believe I got one with Pain, though. Tindo Pain, they need to have made it where he has, like, a 30%. I feel like, personally. But, okay. Alright, this is the Edo version of them, though. That's interesting, because you never see... <gasps> oh, he hit me with the damage conversion. Oh, that's fake. But I don't think it counts when you have the boost. Wait, hold on. Let me see. Health recovery... Okay, it's only 10%. That's that's not good. <laughs> it's not good at all. Let's go ahead and use just Final Valley Sasuke then. Alright. That's fine. A lot of units are implementing that nowadays, which is why, like, the New Year's units, I feel like, are kind of important. Because they have damage conversion to health changing, like, protection. So, I feel like that's something that they're implementing more and more. Because healing is OP in this game, but if you can stop it like that. Okay, what is this? A body type unit. Oh, that's not good. Uh, <laughs> that's not good at all. I'm gonna go ahead and use my boy Naruto here. Hopefully we get chakra back after this because that would actually be very important. Let's go ahead and do this. Yeah, that didn't do anything at all. Do I want it? Yeah, I need to use Fanavelli. Fanavelli Sasuke. I might need more skill units to be honest for this map alone. I mean, I, I never bring skill units because I just, uh, they, they hardly ever put the maps on. Okay, let's see what this is gonna do though. We got a chakra reset again though, so that's good. I will take that. Okay, so the health isn't too much. I could come on in with my Madara, and that should be good. I hope they give us Chakra back. They better give us Chakra back, otherwise, uh, yeah, it's not going to be looking good. Okay, let's go ahead and nullify this as well, because that man got a actual attack boost, so I'm not liking that. Uh, I'm just going to use all my Jutsu here, because the Yadamir always scares me, because sometimes you can get stuck in an infinite loop where it has, like, a barrier or something, but most units can bypass that nowadays. There we go. It's single target as well, so that's good. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and use... Yeah, let's go ahead and use Madara. Bro, the Chakra Reset's with Madara. He's been getting Chakra Reset after Chakra Reset. Let's go. That's why I love my boy. Um, let's just go ahead and do this. Yeah, let's use that. Because I don't know. <laughs> no, my luck, he'll survive. So let's just do that. There we go. Easy, easy cake. And that would have got me an Ultra Combo. I almost have the ultimate with Obito. Please give me Chakra back. Is it standard Chakra doubled? Okay, um... Mm. I don't like when they do that later on. Earlier on, yes, but... Okay, here's the Tendo and the rest of the pains. Okay. All right, I have my boy pain. So what I think I'm going to go ahead and do is bank on the fact that I might get a chakra reset with Obito. Yes, I did. I could have used Obito's ult. I didn't think about it. The double chakra, I forgot. That's okay. I'm going to do that so I can get some heals because there's no telling what these units might do. And then what I'm going to go ahead and do is use pain's ult 
like that. I should have maybe stayed up top more, to be honest, because if they try to attack Pain, he can just nullify it, but Madara can as well. So, oh no, his thing went away. Wow, his nullification really went away right then. That's annoying. Okay, so they have a mobilization. <laughs> All right, that's not good then. Okay, so I'm almost though up to more chakra. How long am I immobilized for? Two more turns? Okay, that's not that bad, but still... Uh, I feel like I should just keep using Obito and get the heals. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna keep using Obito, and we gotta check a reset again. I'm gonna keep using Obito, and then I'll just come on in with Madara, and Madara can do all the damage, because otherwise, yeah. <laughs> no, we're gonna get smacked then, because that immobilization, I don't like that. Let's see what Tendo Pain does, though. Alright, let's go ahead and do this now. With the chakra being doubled, though, it doesn't take that long to get the ult. So I should be able to get Madara's other ult soon. Okay, this hits the whole map, though. I don't like this. What is this going to do? Ooh, they do a lot of damage. Health recovery ceiling. Okay, that's not great. That's not good at all. Um, I could try to nullify it. Yeah, let's try to nullify it. They didn't hit Obito with it because he can't get health recovery soon. But let's go ahead and try to nullify this. Hopefully they go for Madara. I don't know how smart they are. Okay, they're not that smart. Let's go, that's good, that's good. Okay, so just bring a unit that can nullify this, apparently, because they have a lot of jutsu, that's kind of annoying. I mean, obviously, they can still immobilize like that, but mm, it's not that bad. All right, let's go ahead and start picking these guys off one by one. Let's go ahead and take care of this man right here, and then we'll focus the rest of them, because they are quite annoying, I will say that. They are quite annoying. Uh, we're about to get chakra back, so I'm just going to stay up here. Might as well. Their continuous attacks aren't that bad, because unlike with super impacts, they don't do status ailments, which I'm thankful for. We should be able to get Madara's Jutsu again. Oh, he's immobilized though. Okay, in that case, I'm gonna go ahead and focus this man right here. Let's go. Now, unfortunately, because of Sasuke's, how his Jutsu works, this is gonna push him all the way over there, but this should kill. Yeah, I was gonna say. And then Madara should finish it, if anything else. The health recovery ceiling is a little annoying, but Obito can bypass it, so it's not the biggest thing in the world. I feel like everybody has Obito at this point, because he was an anniversary in it, so there's that. All right. Let's just go ahead and finish this man up. Like I said, uh, I don't know if I'll use this team on the next map. We'll see. I'm glad I'm getting some chakra resets because if stuff doesn't go the right way on the next map, then I will come back to this team. But hopefully my, my team should be able to handle it because we still have the other team on standby as well is what I'm saying. So that should be good. Okay, let's just go ahead and kill this man off. We're running out of the chakra recovery as well now, so how long this map is taken this map it's not hard it just took me a while because i wasn't prepared for all of those jutsu <laughs> i got immobilized a couple of times but it's all good all right here we go with the girl kaguya so what i'm gonna go ahead and do i'm gonna use ems Sasuke. i don't know if this kaguya has substitution she wait I, okay i didn't read that correctly i don't know if she has sub but this sasuke ignores sub so we do have a 50 percent and a 50 percent so let's go ahead and let's see Let's get an attack boost a little bit here. So she should switch her typing, which is why I was going to boost EMS Sasuke, but then I thought about it. I'm probably going to get switch sealed either way. So it's like, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and leave this Sasuke out because I feel like it's better that way. So let's just go ahead and do that. Uh, you do get switch sealed and all that for quite a while, so it is kind of annoying. But we'll go ahead and do this. So if this was like the super impact, this Sasuke would be able to ignore the, the type advantage. So that would be good, but it's okay. All right, so we'll stay up here now. This Kage does a lot of damage, so that's why you want to kind of stay away. You want to spread out for sure. All right, so what I've pretty much just been doing is just staying in this corner with these units and building up their chakra. And then the Kaguya herself, she just keeps attacking my one tail, but it really doesn't do anything, so it's fine. I mean, you do need to wait for the type to switch. I don't know why I did that. Just I'm just doing damage at a time, but this really isn't that bad, to be honest. I mean, obviously, I didn't bring the best team, and because of the boost, it wasn't a lot of boost, but I wanted to go ahead and use this Sasuke because I never use him, and he does bypass sub, so that's good. But as you can see, this isn't bad. I mean, she's just up there hitting the Naruto. I don't even have a lot of heals. That's another reason I wanted to use a team like this for the last map. I don't have a lot of heals. The only heals I'm getting are from my KCM Naruto and from my Kaguya. Kaguya is not even out on the field, and KCM Naruto, he just gives you a buddy heal, so... Yeah, this isn't bad. This last map is easy compared to the last one because I think what made the last one so bad, it wasn't the status elements just necessarily. It was the fact that Indra and Ashura were both there and that obviously was not the best thing. But all right, I'm going to just keep whittling her down then. So this Kage is actually kind of weird though because she switches to body and skill sometimes. So it's like, what? <laughs> but all right, let's see if she actually stays. Like she doesn't stay for that long. Yeah, see, look, she already switched back. So it's like I was going to use EMS Sasuke, but it's just random. It's really weird. 
So I don't know. It's it's kind of weird, but okay, there we go. This should be the end right here. Th this map is actually not bad at all, though. Like it's really not. If I can get through it with only like 400 heals. A lot of you can get through this extremely easily. So let me go ahead and just do this, and then we can go ahead and use EMS Oscar for some reason to survive. But all right, that is Ninja Road 34. First try. It wasn't bad at all. I got through the last map a little unorthodox, but obviously it was the first run. There's improvement to be made. Uh, I did not get within 100 turns, though. That is a little bit of a rip, but that's okay. It's because on that last map, I took so long, of course. But I'll probably make another video where I just come through and I one-shot her. That's the only way you can really do it. It really doesn't take that long. But other than that, for the first run, I don't think that was bad at all. It was like, I like this Ninja Road. I like it. I can definitely see myself grinding this. And compared to the last one, which we had for so long, I'm looking forward to playing this. But yeah, that's going to be it for today. I hope you all enjoyed this and have a good time on the new Ninja Road. If you need any help, just let me know. I'll try to recommend some units to you guys. But yeah, hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.